money makes the world go round. Money is as important to the human life as food is for the human body. From saving pocket money to buying the latest video games and splitting the lunch bill between our friends, money plays a huge role in our daily lives. We are so used to living with the concepts of money and credit that it has reached a point where we cannot imagine our lives without them. Before we embark on our journey to understand money and credit, let's understand why these two concepts are so important and relevant to us. Mr. Salim is a shoe manufacturer. In order to get the amount of leather required to make the shoes for his customers, he has to make a payment to the leather supplier, Abdul. Salim writes a check out to Abdul, who deposits it in a bank. This means that Salim instructs his bank to pay the amount to Abdul. And Abdul takes this check and deposits it in his own account in the bank. The money then is transferred from one bank account to the other bank account in just a couple of days. The transaction is complete without any payment of cash. It will be festival season two months from now and the shoe manufacturer, who is Salim, has received an order from a large trader in the town for 3,000 pairs of shoes to be delivered in a month's time. To complete this production on time, Salim has to hire a few more workers for stitching and pasting. He has to purchase raw materials. To meet these expenses, Salim obtains loans from two sources. First, he asks the leather supplier to supply the leather now and promises that he is going to pay him later. Second, he obtains loan in cash from a large trader as advance payment for a thousand pairs of shoes with a promise to deliver the whole order by the end of the month. And at the end of the month, Salim is able to deliver the order, he makes a good profit and he repays the whole amount of money that he had borrowed. Now, not all loans work in such a smooth and efficient manner. In fact, money plays a huge role in our daily lives itself. We all save pocket money. We split the bills between our friends and sometimes even chase them to pay us back. We are so used to living with the concepts of money and credit that it has reached a point where we cannot imagine our lives without them. Let's see if I can help you to understand these concepts a little clearer. Let us start by understanding what the fundamental concept of money is. Say if we were to list out the number of times that we have exchanged money in our day-to-day -day life, it would, it would be a never-ending list, right? We might pay on the spot for food in a restaurant or even for transportation from one place to another. But when we purchase groceries, we generally do it on credit, which basically is a commitment that we make to pay the shopkeeper at the end of the month for everything that we have purchased during the month whether it is on the spot, whether it is on credit, there will be a definite exchange of money that will happen. But think about this. What if money never existed? I'm sure you'll think about the incredible financial system that we human beings have created. Tutamate. For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store.